all these Admax Pass papers, you know what they have in common? All these Admax Pass papers. Uh, that product, this is 2019, 2014. You're going to have to look at the that product somewhere in, in the midst here. Actual find the product again, scalar product, that product. You're going to have to look at the scalar product here. In every single AdMats paper, you have to look at the that product. So you must know what the that product is. Um, what the that product really is, like the theory behind it, maybe a little stretch. You don't need to know that for CSEC. You don't need to know that for really for um, keep and it could be a little challenging to understand as a student if you look at this syllabus right here define the scalar product of two vectors in terms of their components and in terms of their magnitudes and angles between them this is what you really need to know and this is exactly what they test you on and where you get most of the marks so that's what we're going to do today i'm just going to show you how to get the dot product is one of the easiest things you can do out here if they give you two vectors they may give you it in it's a form like this this is actually a past paper question or they may give you it in the form like this uh what you notice about these two what do you notice about these two this is eight units in the i direction in the this is a unit vector in the direction of x uh the x-axis horizontal this is a unit vector vector in the direction of y so this is like eight two 8, 2, 8, 2, 1, negative 4, 1, negative 4. It's just two different no styles of notation, so don't let this frighten you. You may be more accustomed to this one from CSEC Mathematics initially, but it's the same thing. So then, what's next in the dot product? It's one of the easiest things you can do. I said the 8 by the 1, the 2 by the negative 4. 8 by 1 is 8 plus 2 by negative 4 is negative 8 interesting so 8 plus negative 8 is actually 0 we getting that now let us make chuck pass now you may put a little work in here and and there's something really special about this that product and this this is as a result of the dot product being how much of one vector is in the other vector. So if you have zero of one vector in the other vector, it means that the vectors are actually perpendicular to each other. So this question in the past paper may have went on to say that show that these two are perpendicular. And as a common thing, they'll ask you, show that they are perpendicular. Let's just go back to the past paper before we end this video. Um show that trs is 90 degrees show that trs is equal to 90 degrees that means show that the vector t to r and r to s perpendicular and this question was taken from this past paper here calculate p dot q and when you get zero state the angle between the two well immediately for one mark you can state that the angle is 90 degrees because it's perpendicular so I will go on some more in vectors because there's some things you need to know about magnitude and you need to know how we do need that product with, with cos theta. I'll do that in the next video but I'm doing them in short short little neat videos like this so you can just quickly consume them before an exam. So look out for the next video where we discuss cos theta and we discuss how to find the magnitude of a vector and how this implies to the big equation. This big equation. Tell me it again.